Dwayne Hickman, an accomplished actor, left an indelible mark in the entertainment industry. Born on May 18, 1934, in Los Angeles, California, Hickman began his acting career as a child, appearing in numerous films and television shows. However, it was his role as Dobie Gillison, the popular 1950s TV series, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, that catapulted him to stardom. Hickman's portrayal of Dobie Gillies, a lovable but hapless teenager, endeared him to audiences and made him a household name. The show, which aired from 1959 to 1963, was a groundbreaking sitcom that tackled social issues of the time, including youth culture, love, and identity. Hickman's performance was a key factor in the show's success, and his character became an iconic representation of teenage life in the 1950s. After the many loves of Dobie Gillies, Hickman continued to act in various TV shows and movies, including Cat Ballou and How to Stuff a Wild Bikini. He also became a successful television executive, serving as the Vice President of Programming at CBS from 1976 to 1982. Throughout his career, Hickman has been a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, known for his charm, wit, and talent. His contributions to the world of television have left a lasting impact, and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and executives today. Dwayne Hickman is a well-known actor best recognized for his role as Dobie Gillison, the popular 1950s, 60s TV show, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies. You might have fond memories of watching this classic series with your family and laughing along with Dobie's comedic adventures. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to Dwayne Hickman. Do you have a favorite episode or scene from The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies? Or perhaps you had the chance to meet Dwayne Hickman at a fan convention or other event. Share your experiences with us in the comments below. As we delve into Dwayne Hickman's life and career, you'll discover many surprising, humorous, and emotional facts. From his early days as a child actor to his successful run as Dobie Gillies, there's much to explore. So, keep watching this video to learn more about this beloved classic star. Dwayne Hickman, born and raised in Los Angeles, came from a family deeply connected to the entertainment industry. His father, Ezra Hickman, was a director, and his mother, Dorothy Hickman, was an actress. This upbringing exposed him to the world of acting at a young age. As a child, Dwayne often accompanied his mother to the studio where she worked. He would watch actors rehearse and perform, sparking his interest in the craft. His older brother, Daryl Hickman, was also an actor who became Dwayne's first mentor in the industry. Daryl helped Dwayne hone his acting skills and introduced him to agents and casting directors. Dwayne's first significant role was in the 1949 film The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, where he played the young Walter Mitty. This early exposure and guidance from his brother played a crucial role in shaping Dwayne's career as an actor. Throughout his career, Dwayne worked with many influential figures in the industry, including director Stanley Kramer and actor James Stewart. These collaborations further developed his skills and solidified his passion for acting. In conclusion, Dwayne Hickman's family, upbringing, and early exposure to the entertainment industry significantly influenced his path as an actor. With the guidance of his brother and mentors, Dwayne built a successful career in Hollywood, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Dwayne Hickman, an actor from the 1950s and 60s, had a significant influence on the film industry during his era and beyond. He is best known for his role as Dobie Gillis in the TV show of the same name. Hickman's portrayal of the character was a departure from the typical masculine ideals of the time and helped to broaden the perception of leading men in Hollywood. Hickman's contribution to Hollywood extended beyond his acting abilities. He was also a successful producer and director with his production company, Raber Productions, producing several TV shows and movies. Hickman's work behind the camera helped to create opportunities for other actors and filmmakers, further solidifying his impact on the industry. One of Hickman's most notable contributions to Hollywood was his role in breaking down barriers for future generations of actors. His portrayal of Dobie Gillis challenged traditional gender norms and helped to pave the way for more diverse representation in film and television. Additionally, his work as a producer and director provided opportunities for other industry professionals contributing to the vibrant landscape of Hollywood. In conclusion, Dwayne Hickman's influence on the film industry during his era and beyond cannot be overstated. 
His acting, producing, and directing work helped to break down barriers and create opportunities for future generations of actors and filmmakers. Hickman's contributions to Hollywood continue to resonate today, serving as a testament to his enduring impact on the industry. Dwayne Hickman's passion for acting was ignited at a young age. As a child, he loved watching classic films and was particularly drawn to the work of actors like Danny Kaye and Mickey Rooney. He would often imitate their performances for his family and friends, much to their amusement. When Hickman was just 13 years old, he was discovered by a talent scout while performing in a school play. This encounter marked the beginning of his professional acting career, and he soon landed a role on the popular television show The Bob Cummings Show. Hickman's passion for acting only grew from there. He loved the rush of being in front of a live audience and the challenge of bringing a character to life. He also enjoyed the camaraderie of working with other actors and the creative process of making a film or television show. One particularly pivotal experience for Hickman was his role in the classic film The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies. The film was a huge success, and Hickman's performance as the lovable but hapless Dobie Gillis endeared him to audiences across the country. The experience solidified Hickman's desire to pursue a career in acting and helped launch him to stardom. Throughout his career, Hickman has remained passionate about acting and the creative process. He continues to work in the industry today, inspiring a new generation of actors with his talent and dedication. Dwayne Hickman is best known for his television roles as Chuck McDonald on The Bob Cummings Show and as Dobie Gillis in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies. He was born to Catherine Louise Ostertag and Milton Lewis Hickman Jr. and has Swedish, German, English, and Scots-Irish ancestry. Hickman shared a notable day of passing with comedian Bob Saget, who also left his mark on television. Dwayne Hickman, an accomplished actor, faced significant challenges in his early career. Born in 1934, Hickman grew up during the Great Depression, which brought financial struggles for his family. Despite these hardships, he pursued his passion for acting. As a young actor, Hickman struggled to find roles in the industry. Many casting directors were skeptical of his abilities and doubted his potential. However, Hickman remained determined and resilient. He owned his craft, taking acting classes, and appearing in small roles to gain experience. One of the creative solutions Hickman found to overcome industry skepticism was to create his own opportunities. He began writing and producing his own projects, showcasing his talents and proving his worth to casting directors. This approach paid off and Hickman eventually landed his breakthrough role as Dobie Gillis in the popular 1950s TV show, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies. Throughout his career, Hickman faced numerous obstacles, but he never gave up. He continued to work hard develop his skills and create his own opportunities. His resilience and determination serve as an inspiration to aspiring actors and a reminder that success is possible with hard work and perseverance. Dwayne Hickman is best known for his role as Dobie Gillis in the TV show The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, but he also appeared in several movies. In Dr. Goldfoot and The Bikini Machine, he starred alongside Annette Funicello and Harvey Limbeck, who were also in How to Stuff a Wild Bikini. Hickman was 24 when he played a teenager in the pilot episode of The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, and his co-star Bob Denver was 23. Hickman also had a role in the comedy Cat Balu, where he played Jet. The film starred Lee Marvin, who was known for his humor on set. However, Jane Fonda, who played a serious character in the movie, did not appreciate Marvin's jokes. Fonda wanted to focus on more serious work, and Marvin's attempts to lighten her mood only annoyed her. Marvin also insulted Fonda's French fiancé, Roger Vadim, which did not help their relationship. Overall, Dwayne Hickman had a successful career in both television and film, appearing in popular shows and movies during his time. Dwayne Hickman's career as an actor had several breakthrough moments. One of his earliest significant roles was as a teenager on the television show The Bob Cummings Show in the 1950s. Hickman's portrayal of the character Dobie Gillis was well received and helped establish him as a talented young actor. Later, in the late 1950s, Hickman starred in his own show, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, which was based on his character from the previous series. This show was a major success and helped cement Hickman's status as a leading TV actor of his time. It was also notable for launching the career of actor Ted Cassidy, who played the character Lurch on The Addams Family. 
Another breakthrough moment for Hickman came in the 1960s when he starred in the film Cat Ballou alongside Jane Fonda and Lee Marvin. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Hickman's performance was praised. The film also won several awards, including an Academy Award for Best Actor for Lee Marvin. Hickman's peers, critics, and collaborators have often spoken about the impact of these achievements. For example, Ted Cassidy once said that working with Hickman on The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis was a real learning experience, and that Hickman was a true professional. Critics have also noted Hickman's ability to play both comedic and dramatic roles with equal skill, and his contributions to television and film have been widely recognized. In summary, Dwayne Hickman's career as an actor included several breakthrough moments, such as his role on The Bob Cummings Show, his own show The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, and his performance in the film Cat Ballou. These achievements were marked by critical acclaim, commercial success, and the admiration of peers and collaborators. Dwayne Hickman, an actor born in 1934, faced pressure to stay young in Hollywood. He started his career as a child actor and found fame in the 1950s in 60s with the many loves of Dobie Gillies. As he grew older, he struggled to find roles that fit his age. Hickman also dealt with other significant struggles in his life. He battled alcoholism and went through a difficult divorce. Despite these challenges, he continued to act and even directed episodes of The Brady Bunch. Later in life, Hickman became a Catholic deacon and found solace in his faith. He also wrote an autobiography, Forever Dobie, The Many Lives of Dwayne Hickman, where he opened up about his struggles and accomplishments throughout his life. Hickman remained humble and grateful for his career. He passed away in 2022, leaving behind a legacy as a talented actor and a kind-hearted individual. Dwayne Hickman, an accomplished actor, is known for his unique approach to his work. He has a natural ability to bring characters to life making them relatable and memorable for audiences. Hickman's artistic process begins with a deep understanding of the character he is portraying. He researches their background, motivations, and personality traits to create a well-rounded and authentic portrayal. Hickman's personal experiences and worldview often influence his work. He has a unique ability to infuse his characters with a sense of warmth, humor, and humanity, making them resonate with audiences. His approach to acting is grounded in the belief that authenticity and vulnerability are key to creating compelling and memorable performances. One of the most notable aspects of Hickman's style is his ability to adapt to different roles and genres. Whether he is playing a comedic character or a dramatic lead, Hickman brings a consistent level of excellence and dedication to his work. He is known for his versatility and ability to bring depth and nuance to every character he portrays. Hickman's artistic vision is also reflected in his approach to the creative process. He is deeply committed to collaboration, working closely with directors, writers, and other actors to bring a shared vision to life. He is also known for his attention to detail, taking the time to ensure that every aspect of his performance is just right. In summary, Dwayne Hickman is a talented and dedicated actor with a unique artistic vision and process. His ability to bring characters to life combined with his versatility and commitment to collaboration, make him a standout in the world of entertainment. Dwayne Hickman is a critically acclaimed artist, known for his many gallery showings across the country. His paintings are held in numerous corporate and private collections. Despite his success, Hickman did not graduate from Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, California. He is the younger brother of actor Daryl Hickman, and the two have appeared together in the film Captain Eddie. Dwayne Hickman, an actor well known for his role in the popular 1950s and 60s TV show The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, significantly influenced the sitcom genre and the portrayal of teenagers on screen. Hickman's portrayal of Dobie Gillis was both relatable and engaging for the youth of the time, leading to a positive impact on the industry and the viewing public. According to TV Guide, Hickman's Dobie Gillis director was one of the most enduring and influential TV teenagers of all time. The show tackled relevant social issues and used humor to connect with its audience, setting a precedent for future sitcoms. Industry experts and those inspired by Hickman highlight his contribution to the industry. For example, actor Paul Rudd, in an interview with the AV Club, mentioned Hickman as one of his early inspirations, stating, I love Dwayne Hickman in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, 
Moreover, Hickman's influence extended beyond acting. After his time on The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, he transitioned into a successful career as a television executive, further shaping the industry. In summary, Dwayne Hickman's acting and career trajectory have left a lasting impact on the television industry, particularly in the sitcom genre. His relatable and engaging portrayal of Dobie Gillis resonated with audiences and paved the way for future shows addressing social issues with humor. Dwayne Hickman, known for his role in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, had a connection to the entertainment industry through his family. He was the ex-brother-in-law of actress Pamela Lincoln and brother-in-law of Linda Farmer Hickman. On January 9, 2022, Hickman passed away, coincidentally on what would have been his Dobie Galisco star Bob Denver's 87th birthday. Before appearing in the television series, Hickman played Grady Metcalf in the movie Rally Round the Flag, Boys. Interestingly, he and his co-star Tuesday Weld were cast together again in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, with Hickman as the title character and Weld in a recurring role as Thalia Menninger. This television series was also produced by 20th Century Fox, the same studio that made Rally Round the Flag, Boys. Dwayne Hickman, best known for his role as Dobie Gillis in the 1950s and 60s, had a life full of interests and values that extended beyond his acting career. He was a family man, dedicated to his wife and two children. Hickman once said in an interview that his family always came first, and he made sure to spend quality time with them despite his busy schedule. Hickman was also passionate about art and design. After retiring from acting, he became a successful art dealer and consultant, owning his own gallery in Los Angeles. He had a keen eye for fine art and loved sharing his knowledge and passion with others. In addition to his love for art and family, Hickman was deeply committed to philanthropy. He was involved in various charitable organizations throughout his life, including the Boy Scouts of America, the American Heart Association, and the Motion Picture and Television Fund. Hickman believed in giving back to his community and helping those in need. One of Hickman's most notable philanthropic efforts was his work with the Alzheimer's Association. After his first wife's battle with the disease, Hickman became a passionate advocate for Alzheimer's research and support. He served on the board of directors for the Alzheimer's Association and was actively involved in raising awareness and funds for the cause. Hickman's personal values and interests, such as his love for art and family, his dedication to helping others, and his commitment to making a positive impact in his community were all reflected in his work both on and off screen. He will always be remembered not only for his iconic acting roles, but also for his generosity, kindness, and contributions to society. Dwayne Hickman, known for his role as Dobie Gillis in the television series of the same name, had to dye his dark brown hair blonde for the part. The concern was that audiences would confuse Dobie with Chuck, a character Hickman played on the Bob Cummings show, which had different sponsors. The bleaching process caused Hickman to experience hair loss and scalp blisters, and he was eventually allowed to stop after the first season. Hickman did not have a positive relationship with his on-screen love interest, Tuesday Weld, who left the series after the first season. Despite this, Hickman's portrayal of Dobie Gillis was well-received and made him a household name. Prior to his acting career, Hickman attended and graduated from Cathedral High School in Los Angeles, California in 1952. His performance as Dobie Gillis remains a significant part of television history, and he will always be remembered for his role in the beloved series. Dwayne Hickman, best known for his role as Dobie Gillies, left a significant impact on the television industry. His legacy includes not only his on-screen performances, but also his work behind the scenes as a producer and network executive. He helped shape the sitcom genre and pave the way for future generations of actors and industry professionals. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Hickman offered valuable advice, always be true to yourself and never stop learning. The industry is constantly changing and you must adapt and grow with it. Surround yourself with talented and supportive people and never be afraid to take risks. Hickman also emphasized the importance of hard work and dedication talent will only take you so far. You must be willing to put in the time and effort to hone your craft and build a successful career. Remember, there is no substitute for hard work and perseverance. As for his own future contributions, Hickman expressed a desire to continue mentoring and supporting up-and-coming talent. 
He believed that sharing his knowledge and experience could help the next generation of actors and industry professionals achieve even greater success. In summary, Dwayne Hickman's legacy within the television industry is one of innovation, creativity, and leadership. His advice for aspiring professionals is to stay true to themselves, never stop learning, and always be willing to put in the hard work required to succeed. Dwayne Hickman, known for his role in Cat Ballou, has an interesting family history. His wife, Joan Roberts, is a successful voiceover performer. Growing up, Hickman lived with his grandparents, including his maternal grandfather, Louis Henry Ostertag. Ostertag was U.S. Navy seaman on Commodore George Dewey's USS Olympia and was present at the Battle of Manila Bay in 1898. He received the Dewey Medal by Act of Congress for his service. In Cat Ballou, Hickman played the role of Jed, originally intended for Burt Lancaster or Tony Curtis in the film's early stages. Later, John Saxon was linked to the project, likely for one of the younger character roles played by Hickman or Tom Nardini. The film was announced as a musical in 1956, but the final version did not include musical elements. Dwayne Hickman, an actor who began his career as a child, is best known for his role as Dobie Gillis in the popular 1950s TV show of the same name. Hickman's passion for acting was evident from the start, and he quickly became a household name. Throughout his career, Hickman demonstrated his innovation and creativity by taking on a variety of roles in film and television. He was not afraid to take risks and try new things, which helped him to stand out in a competitive industry. Hickman's impact on the entertainment industry is enduring. He not only entertained audiences, but also inspired future generations of actors and filmmakers. His work serves as a reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. Even after facing setbacks and challenges, Hickman continued to pursue his passion for acting. His story is a testament to the importance of staying true to oneself and never giving up on one's dreams. In conclusion, Dwayne Hickman's journey in the entertainment industry is a powerful example of the impact that creativity and perseverance can have. His contributions continue to resonate with audiences today, and his legacy serves as an inspiration to all who dare to dream. Dwayne Hickman, known for his role as Dobie Gillies, resided in Santa Monica during the 1980s and 90s, often seen strolling on Montana Avenue. He was approachable and friendly, always ready for a chat about Dobie Gillies. Hickman worked twice with Yvonne Craig in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis and Ski Party. Interestingly, the character of Fred Jones in Scooby-Doo is based on Dobie Gillies, reflecting Hickman's influence on popular culture. Dwayne Hickman is best known for his role as Dobie Gillis in the TV show The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, which aired from 1959 to 1963. His portrayal of the character was so popular that it led to a film adaptation, Bikini Beach, in which Hickman switched roles with Frankie Avalon, playing Todd Armstrong instead of Craig Gamble. Interestingly, in the movie Ski Party released in 1965, they switched roles again. And the many loves of Dobie Gillies, Hickman's real-life older brother, Daryl Hickman, played Dobie's older brother, Davy Gillies, in three season one episodes. Hickman's acting mentor was Robert Cummings, who was an accomplished actor in his own right. Under Cummings' guidance, Hickman honed his skills and developed his unique acting style. In summary, Dwayne Hickman is a talented actor who gained fame for his role as Dobie Gillies. He has worked with notable actors like Frankie Avalon and had his older brother, Daryl Hickman, as a co-star. His acting mentor, Robert Cummings, helped shape his career, making him the accomplished actor he is today. Let's take a moment to talk about Dwayne Hickman a beloved actor who has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Hickman is best known for his role in the classic TV show The Many Loves of Dobie Gillies, where he played the titular character with charm and wit. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Hickman's work and legacy. What did you enjoy most about his performances? Which characters did he bring to life in a way that resonated with you? Share your memories and opinions in the comments below. If you found this discussion interesting, please like and share this post with your friend and family. Let's celebrate the creative spirits who have shaped the entertainment world by spreading the word about their contributions. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that button so you don't miss any of our future content. We're always exploring the lives and careers of fascinating figures in entertainment, and we'd love for you to join us on our journey. So, let's hear it. What do you think of Dwayne Hickman's work and legacy? 
Share your thoughts in the comments, and let's keep the conversation going.